Hello, Saint Rock. On today's Art Rocks video, we are going to be making our own Paschal candles that we're going to design and decorate. So I'll tell you in a minute a little bit more about the Paschal candle and what it means and what it represents for us. Before I do that, um, I wanna go over just what some of the materials are that you'll need. There's not very many materials for this, so really anybody can do it. So I just got a piece of paper and I folded it in the middle and then cut it in half. So really you just need one piece of paper that you fold and cut, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and then some markers. If you don't wanna use markers, you could use colored pencils or crayons as well. Um, so those are all the materials that we need. We are just a few days away from the most important celebration in our church, which is of course Easter. So we're going to be designing our Paschal candles. If you've ever been to the church, you might recognize this, maybe not this exact candle, but, but the big tall candle that stands, um, that stands in our church during the Easter season. Um, so this represents Christ. Like we call it the, the, this, the Easter candle. Um, it's representing Christ being the light of the world. Um, at the Easter Vigil Mass, if you've ever been to one, it actually starts in darkness. We actually start outside and there's a big fire. We call it the Easter fire. Um, and this candle is lit from that fire that's outside. And the inside of the church is dark at the Easter Vigil. The lights are all out. And the Christ, this or the, the Easter candle, this Paschal candle, is the first light that comes into the dark church at the Easter Vigil Mass. So if you have an opportunity to watch one of the live stream Easter Vigil Masses this year, or maybe next year to go to one of those Easter Vigil Masses. It's a, a really beautiful liturgy. Um, it's my favorite Mass of the year, so maybe try to tune into one this year if you can. So as this candle is brought into the church, it's lit, it lights the other candles of the participants. So the people who are um, the catechumens or the candidates, those are the people that are going to be baptized or confirmed at the Easter Vigil Mass. Um, and it's also used to light the candles of the people who are in the congregation. So if you were at that Mass, you would be holding a candle and the Paschal candle's light would kind of come to you, representing that the light of Christ comes to each of us. Um, so these are made, this one's made of paper, but the real ones are made out of 100% beeswax, which represents just the purity of Christ. We use a new Paschal candle every single year. That's why you can see that it has the year 2020 written on it. So make sure when you do yours that you include the year. Um, we light this Paschal candle at all of the liturgies, at all of the masses in the 50 days of our Easter season. And then we also light it at baptisms and funerals throughout the year, um, which just helps us kind of connect our lives to Christ and be, and be connected and remember that Christ is the light of our world. Um, there are a few symbols that the Paschal candle always has on them. So I'm going to go over some of those symbols with you and then um, I'll let you try it yourself. So the first one um, is the A... And this sign down here, if you can see, this is an omega sign. So A um, is a Greek word, and it just stands for alpha. It's the first letter of the Greek alphabet. And this one is omega. It's the last letter of the Greek alphabet. So we always include this on the Paschal candle because it represents that Christ is the beginning and the end. So just as the first letter and the last letter of the Greek alphabet, Christ is the beginning and the end. Um, another thing that is usually on this Paschal candle is this symbol down here at the bottom. It's the X with like, that looks like a P over it. This is also Greek and it's, a, we call it a chi row. The chi being the X um, and the rho is the P. Those are Greek letters and they're the first Greek letters um, in the word Christ. So just sometimes you see this symbol and it, and it kind of just represents Christ. Um, like I said, it always includes the year on it, so 2020, our upcoming year. And there are, there's a cross and five wax nails representing the five wounds of Christ. Um, so these little orange things, those are my pretend nails here. Um, and on the Paschal candle, those nails push into the candle and on the inside of those, there's a grain of incense also. And that represents... Um, the burial spices that that would would have been used during embalmment. Um, some other 
uh, types of symbols that you could use, which you don't have to. Um, could be you could put a lamb on there or a chalice and a host. That's what I did. My brown was a little bit darker than what I thought it would. So if you could tell, that is a chalice in the Eucharist, the host. You could put grapes or shafts of wheat. You could use water or a flame or fire. You could put um, different crosses or different kinds of uh, decorations for yours. So um, you'll take your, when you cut your paper in half, you'll just take this, and this is what you'll be using to decorate um, for your Paschal candle. And then on your other one, you're gonna need to draw a flame that you'll have to cut out and glue. So I forgot you will actually need glue. Um, you'll just glue that to the top. So your flame is just gonna be the shape of a teardrop that you can color in with you know yellow or red or orange or whatever fire color you want, and then glue it to your Paschal candle. Um, when you're finished with these, send them to me or send a picture of them to me or Mrs. Wilson. Uh, my email address is melam at strockindy.org. I would love to see what you create.